Omelette? What is omelette? Omelette is a very delicious and nutritious part of a good and healthy breakfast, Charlie. What's the big deal? I don't cry when I'm late. You don't cry at all, which is actually a good thing. Also, just pointing this out, not sending this, there has not been a single episode where Jake actually cries. Kudos, because that would just be a waste of time. You didn't happen to catch her name, did you? Charlie doesn't know the name of the girl cliche. The stick turns blue. Yes, sweetheart, first go into the bathroom. Dumb blonde, most likely. Yeah, I'm a genius. That actually worked over the phone. Now we wait 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Charlie, it's only been 11 seconds, not 30. Well, sure, in a strange way, I'm a little disappointed too. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Charlie's addicted to no pregnancy. Extra strength, double latex for Coyote Tuesdays. Am I the only one who wants to know how Coyote Tuesdays work? Ah, who am I kidding? I already have a kid, no need for more. I love you too. I know. I know we're gonna have a baby. So is this doctor's wife also the dumb blonde type? Do you write with your testicles? At times, yes. Well, you know, you freeze shrimp. It's never as good as fresh. Actually, yeah, it is. I've tried both. So you know for a fact that frozen kids are just the same as the regulars? Just put them in carbonite and they'll survive the rest of civilization without ever existing. Of course, when they grow up, they do tend to migrate to the Sun Belt. <laughs> Nothing. Wow. That one kills at urology conventions. That's probably because the people at that convention are retards. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be a mommy. Yes, you are. Either it's a dumb blonde or this doctor's wife is a dog. Then just bring it back here while the little fellas are still swimming. <laughs> then just bring it back here while the little fellas are still swimming and we'll turn them into popsicles. That joke was stupid. Run. I just brought up Dr. Shackman because no one has noticed my new tushy. Actually, not bad looking, and I'm okay with that. And I'm not okay with that. I'm done. Can I go play in my room? I'm done. Can I go play in my room? Repeating lines. That music doesn't normally tend to turn people on. Just saying. Well, at least I don't. A few picks will do. If it helps, you can think of me. <laughs> Ah, Charlie thought of Berta and it worked. That's a twist. Charlie holding the bag like it's a bomb ready to explode. What's in the bag? Sperm. I thought we were going to a movie. Alan believes Charlie wanted to get sexual with him. I could have met you at the theater, you know. Alan trying to be funny, and it's not working. No, no, no. What's more suspicious than looking inside a bag of the guy you just pulled over, realizing the guy you're about to pull over threw the bag out the window? No, no, no. Charlie didn't kill Alan for that. Ice cream. Store bought. Not hand cranked. Charlie's sun remover. Your Uncle Charlie is getting a vasectomy. Oh, what's wrong with the car you have now? Charlie actually believed that Jake already knew what a vasectomy was. Scout? The dog we had. Couldn't keep it in his fur. Scene does not contain a disturbing flashback. Why don't you just use a condom? <laughs> Everyone at that age knows about condoms nowadays. Civilization is fucked up. Thanks for babysitting me. Oh, uh, it's personal. As if Rose doesn't already know about Charlie's procedure. Do you realize who you're talking to, Alan? Rose didn't knock on the door. I get all hot and sweaty and my clothes start clinging to my body. So then I have to go and take a nice hot soapy shower. Then what? That's pretty much it, Charlie. What more could make you masturbate? Harper, why don't you jump up on the table, put your legs in the stirrups, and we'll get you shaved. Sing song voice. That is pretty dumb. Also, doctor must be bored with her job. In my defense, it's a little cold in here. <laughs> Boy, if I had a nickel for every time I heard that. You'd be richer than Bill Gates, right? Right? Ah, screw it, just count it. That was quick. You got a little mirror so I can check out the back? <laughs> Not that little. Charlie just got owned. Ah, uh, ooh, ooh, uh, that's good, that's good. Now listen, I just gotta do one quick snip and then I'll meet you at the hospital. If anyone's wife was in labor, he would not be doing his job. He'd be by her side, literally not on the phone. Woof, that's quite a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like my grandma in a bathing cap. Well, thank you for giving me that disturbing image. I will never look at bathing caps the same way again. I'm gonna give you a local anesthetic here, so you're gonna feel a little sting. Woo! You know we're thinking Juliet now, or maybe Julianne.
Both good names. Yeah. You want a name that fits a child, but also is appropriate for an adult. Any name is great for a child and appropriate for an adult. Can you feel my finger? Roll credits. Oh, hi, honey. No, no, I can talk. I'm just snipping a man's testicles. Nothing big. No pun intended. What's up? And Naomi, why don't you see to it that Mr. Harper has another appointment? So the vasectomy just begun, Charlie can't feel his genitals, and he's all of a sudden supposed to leave. Well, that is a waste of a man's time. But what am I doing? I'm sending two and a half men when I could not be doing someone else's job. Unbelievable. Let it go, Alan. Who goes in for a vasectomy and comes out with a date? Charlie Harper. That's who. Do you forget who your brother is, Alan? What? I'm a man? She's a woman? A woman who, two minutes after you met her, was shaving your scrotum. Best date ever. But you wouldn't know about that, would you, Alan? Scout had his operation. He got real calm. <laughs> and he got fat and only wanted to sleep behind the dryer. Scene does not contain a flashback. So, cause you'd be a cool dad. Yeah, a cool dad who sends big checks every month to a daughter that we won't even know exists until 10 years from now. I mean, I'm not a particularly religious guy. Hey, Charlie's like me. Clearly, a power much greater than myself wants me to knock somebody up someday. Seems like that's the best way of putting it if you're Charlie Harper. <laughs> also, I've got 11 more seasons to go? <sighs> Prepare yourselves, everybody. This could take a while. And just as I was about to retire from this job, too.